Hello, everybody. Uh, Glitch Reaper here again, and uh, I'm back with a bit more uh, Punk by Magic. Uh, I was going to see if I could get. Uh, n n n ne never mind. I don't want to get people's hopes up for later. I, I, I had a cool mod idea, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Again, when you got this many mods, sometimes things uh, just happen. Uh, now, the thing is, I was going to try to find a, n a, a few more of the. Abyssal craft locations in the overworld, the, the special biomes. But then I was starting to think, I might have myself a little bit of problems on my hands about that, because they're going to get pretty far apart, and regardless of how I get there, I'm going to have to get back and forth quickly, so I started thinking I need to have some kind of teleporter system around here, and then that's about the time somebody did something cool. Uh, a fan of mine actually did a... I, a mod review on the different runes of runes of wizardry. So I'm going to be getting to that mod uh, very, very soon, like hopefully like this episode. And the thing is, before I'd seen it demonstrated while it was still just the runic dust mod way back in the day. And then whenever it got updated, they didn't really like have a special wiki or anything for all the runes. So it was really, really great for Wired Boy to show off uh, a lot of the runes, like most of them. He didn't show them all off, but he did a pretty good review, so uh, check out Wired Boy's review. I don't know if I'm going to be able to link that or not, but I might try. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can. I probably will be able to. We'll see. Anyhow, uh, the thing is, the rune, the Runes of Wizardry mod is actually mostly... Well, it's both simple and complex at the same time. It has some very simple dynamics, some things that are really cool about it, like... The fact that it used to multi-block before nothing else multi-blocked. I mean, seriously, whenever you start using these, it is awesome. Also, consider it kind of the ritual spells of this mod pack, uh, since uh, this exact version doesn't have anything like witchery in it, per se. I mean, I ha it has things that include aspects of witchery, like a bit of evil craft and uh, Christology, and uh, this mod here all have different aspects of witchery, including like the Vampirism mod and Howling Moon for like transformations, so... It's got a little splattered around. It was one of my favorite 1.7.10 mods, so at least I think I did a good job recreating it by adding a lot of mods. Seriously, it took like nearly 10 mods to get anywhere near as big of a situation as Witchery was with one. It was kind of ridiculous. MNF, you were a serious coding beast back in the day. Anyhow, <clears throat> let's see here. I'm trying to remember if I have my tools with me. No, that's Enchanted Books. Uh, I don't know why Totempedia doesn't count, because I was going to do a quick... Uh, I hear flapping. I, I do, in fact, hear flapping. That can't be good. Uh, where? Put there. Hello. Where did I have the book? I thought I had a Totempedia around here somewhere. It obviously wouldn't be over there. Never mind. Uh, uh, how come I have two origins of... Oh yeah, that's right. I found one, made one. What? No, I, I found both of these. It's pretty easy to find those books. I'm trying to remember how I got those books. But anyhow, I don't have a Totempedia in here, apparently, which is very sad. Uh, oh, I really, really hope that didn't blow up anything important. I heard that blast. That's... that that's... that's worrying. I may need to go up and see if anything important blew up. In fact, I'm gonna go up right now. Okay. I think that was a... a falling... Oh, that... that's still growing. Uh, mm -hmm. and another explosion happened really close to it. Yeah, let me in here. Shoo, shoo, let, let me indoor. Uh, got some things ready, and for some odd reason, I seem to not have a Totempedia right about now. I have no idea why. Nope, that's not a place that has a Totempedia. I have it in here. Aha! I do have it in here. This is where I got a lot of my traveling stuff. Um, some of which I'll show off later. Uh, that's pretty cool. I, I, but I need to make some buffalo, so I needed to remind myself of what musical instruments I need to use. Okay, infused flute. Obviously, I'll need that because I don't have that many musical instruments this time, anyhow. So I need to do the buffalo dance. 
Uh, ceremonies, mm. buffalo dance, drum, and then wind chime. Okay, okay, so that's what I need to do to, to prep this dance. And then hopefully I'll have enough musical energy to do it, because I have kind of a limited setup in here, because this is just a, a, a humble mining base it, it, and hideaway near spawn. It's, it's nothing really that significant, and I'm not going to need to use my pickaxe immediately, so I'll have to have an empty hand. Okay. Uh, I think the flute's going to help me more. Please make it, please make it. Oh man, barely missed. Whew. I, I don't, I think I need more drums. Um, okay, uh, okay. Pardon me, drum. You see if I can EMC you yet or if I've forgotten to do that, because I need to I need a pattern scan this, put in a few more drums, because I, I need a little more oomph here. Uh, Totemus Drum. I figured I hadn't learned that yet, because I did that before I got this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And would have been sort of cheap either way, but still. <laughs> it gar I, I get so many materials that I honestly probably could have done that just off of the creatures I slay every night. Uh, the <laughs> I mean, they're all around here. Okay, I want to have myself some buffalo growing while I start being a runic wizard. Thank you very much. I don't know if the cows get how... Oh! That's right, it has to be a little bit further away. Oops, forgot about that. Because they have a range limitation, so the wind chimes don't like it if you're too close. So I need to put those back where I... Cow, it took me forever to get you in here, but I will do all sorts of things to get you out if you're in my way. <laughs> okay, that's close enough. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't have to have them all on the same side. <laughs> so if I put these over here... There. Now they're still within range. So let, let's see if I can make sure that the cows know that... Of course the problem is now I have, have that my way. Darn it! Missing my flute. I was about to miss it because I didn't have my flute in my path. There we go. Whew, that was close. That was really close. I switched as fast as I could. I got it. Okay, you, 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 you buffalo just grow to be nice buffalo. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of you later. Whew, goodness sakes. Uh, that, that was, that, that was, that was more effort than I thought it was going to be. Okay, just throwing those things in. Oh, goodness sakes. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, one thing I really appreciate about Project D is I got rid of this old, uh, problem about not being able to search for things at the same time. So, let me just put a little at, uh, Runes. Uh, <laughs> okay, see? Well, now I can start up. Because um, I need to have certain things. I need to have a mortar and pestle, which is basically smooth stone and a bone. So, let's uh, grab a few of those. Uh, one, two, three. And a bone. Some of these things I'll probably make to be traveling materials after a while. Like, uh, I may have to rearrange what I've got in my, uh, my, uh, easy-to-use stuff. Which is, you know, like, my, my traveling gear. Uh, does this have to be above it by a bit? Yeah, I, I figured that was what I did. Mm-hmm. Strunt. Okay. And Bic. Okay, I'm gonna need this thing a lot. <laughs> Because I'm going to have to make a lot of these runic dusts, and they all involve being mortared and pestled. Uh, or at least they should. Uh, 
dust block, plant ball. That's one way to do it. Dust block, see, inert. Okay, I need to start off here and then I go there. That's how this is done now. So I need clay and bone meal. I always double click a little fast sometimes. And some bone meal. Uh, I, I just love this system. Th th thank you very much, Project E. You are way better than applied energistics. This is so much more convenient. Inert runic dust. Because once I start doing this, I will need a lot of all these materials. Okay, let me see here. What can I use you to make specific... Okay, I can only make the dust block, so I need nine of those, and I think after that I get all the other things. No, I don't need it as armor. <laughs> that would be a little weird. Uh, okay, so I get them all infused to their type of dust on the level of the block. It's the start out I'm not entirely as familiar with. So I was able to ironically see more of the stuff later. <laughs> but either way, they all craft into nine. So you do it in the level of the block, then you craft back down? Okay. Okay, so let's see. I'll need a water bucket and a lapis. I'll need eye of ender and obsidian. I'll need a plant ball, which is specific in itself. A piece of lava stone. Glowstone, that's... It always takes a chunk out of your EMC. Uh, okay, so let's do this a piece at a time here. Uh, well, for one thing, I'm going to need more of these. So I'm going to need to make a block and up my... Ugh, meals just don't last as long around here. <laughs> but I think it's just the exact version. Oh! I might want to put up my Silk Touch axe. I was doing a little renovating. <laughs> it involved needing to make sure that I had some bookshelves the right way, and you know how bookshelves tend to break, so I went Silk Touch route. I still got that randomly from uh, Infernal Mobs a while back, but I haven't had that in the pack for a while because I had uh, issues with wanting to make sure that it didn't do this random uh, ram spike thing that it was doing whenever it involved hitting one that then instantly struck you with lightning. Because whenever that happens, it like causes a, a serious like lag spike with infernal mobs for some reason. So, therefore, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, working with all sources and trying to eliminate all sources of lag. Uh, actually, I don't need this immediately right now, but it'd be good to put that back in. Okay, so I'll need more uh, dust blocks. So I kind of had that out temporarily because... I was being a little cautious. I I'm, I'm still have it out temporarily now, but I don't know uh, when I'll put it back in. I mean, I might try next cycle. I mean, it, it's an interesting, uh, a very interesting uh, a mod in itself that I've always loved because it makes things more difficult, but at the same time, it actually makes them more rewarding. Like, it's actually worth it and pretty much proportional. Like, you always get, like, quadruple experience, and you always get... Uh, Hey, some uh, really good loot. So Okay, so those were for the water infused. Ding! Okay, let me see. What else do I need to do? Blaze. I need the... Uh, lava stone. Lava stone is a blazing netherrack paste. I need netherrack and blaze powder. I know where to get the netherrack, actually. Uh, because there is a, uh, place that I can go to later, but I might actually find an easier time doing the Ender first. Maybe I'll get back to that later when I go back, because near the Coralium Swamp, I found out one of those, uh, overworld, uh, those, one of those overworld nether biomes from Ad Infernos is there. I didn't actually take any of the netherrack, though, so I, I don't think I have any here. Do I have any netherrack scanned? No, I do not. <laughs> I thought I hadn't got any from there. Oh well. <laughs> it was one of those things that would have been nice if I would have remembered. Uh, but I was worried about some other things at the time, like some extreme uh, issues. Okay, uh, I have Ender and Obsidian. I know I've scanned that stuff. Partially because I have like nice mobs, and they drop all sorts of very interesting stuff, like Obsidian and, uh, well, Ender Pearls. Not Obsidian, not uh, Eyes of Ender directly, I don't remember. I don't think so, anyhow. 
So that's something that I think will be nice to see at some other point. Okay, because I will need a lot of these, and I'll I'll craft them into the respective dust later. Uh, we're gonna let's see the blaze. I think is okay. So this will be wait. Can use lapis runic dust and blaze powder to get it instead. Okay. Okay. So oh, so this is done a little differently. Okay. Lapis runic dust is three lapis and a coal. Okay, that's a little different from the other, so they don't all follow the same pattern. That's really good to know. But yeah, I, I really should have grabbed a bit of netherrack while I was in the vicinity, but apparently I totally forgot. Oh well, can't remember them all the time. But I know where it is later, and that's partially why I'm doing this whole thing, is because I'm trying to make sure that I have, uh, uh, like, ways of getting back and forth, so th that'll work out fine. Let's see, what was it I was going to use this for? Uh, blaze powder to make the blaze for Nick dust, that's right. Well, good thing that was on the front page. One of the more expensive things because of the inner fuel ring type thing. They used to differentiate between fuels and non-fuels, and is this night? It's night, so I'm, I'm sleeping. There may be explosion sounds right in the morning. That might be the Epions falling to their deaths. They they burn, fall, hit the ground, and explode. They're one of Like Knight's mobs and have a very interesting death. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. That can that can totally happen. Let's see. Block of plant runic dust. Uh, plant runic dust. Oh, this is another easy one. I just need uh, tall grass? Or... I can even use seeds and coal. Okay, so they're all equivalent, so I can see why that comes out. Okay. So, yeah, nice to know, because I'm trying to get my runes. Plant runic dust. Okay, there we go. What was it I was also going to use that? Okay, I got that. That's the only other thing on there. How do I get aqua? Okay, that's another thing. Okay, so that would be those. Okay, so I already got that covered, basically. You see, we have blaze. I've taken care of lapis. Gunpowder. Yeah, that's that's a thing I need to do. Plant and gunpowder. Oh, so the one of them leads the other. <laughs> nice shot, me. Okay. Okay, that'll work for there. I think I can make a powder... I think this is shapeless. Yeah, it's shapeless. I think I can make a, like, a, a dust bag. And I'm definitely going to need that really soon. See, I got the dust block. Uh, that's going to be different later. Chalk dust. Wait, chalk dust is different? Oh, bone meal and a brick. Do I have a brick? That's <laughs> a very good question. Have I scanned a brick? No, I have not, oddly enough. Okay. Uh, well, time to go old school. <laughs> we might as well do eight of them like normal. <laughs> and a piece of charcoal, which is actually cheaper than co regular coal in uh, Project E, so just keep that in mind, because apparently they value the real stuff more than the uh, easy-to-get stuff. Uh, so... <laughs> Of course, then they make it easy to get through the mod, but hey, that's that's a good thing, you know? Okay, so I'm going to cook that. Um, then I need... Make that, I need... Bone meal. While I'm at it, I might as well scan this in as bricks, too, because I, I'll be able to get several good things this way. A brick, uh, a nice flower pot, maybe? Brick blocks? I think I should have one to spare after that. It should be able to make that. So while that's doing that, I'm going to go and grab myself some more bone meal. This mod uses a good amount of bone meal, so please remember, you might be whacking a lot of skeletons. Oh yeah, that was from that abyssal area that was also next to there. Reminds me, I do have some uh, some dark trees that I might want to grow later. 
That's nice. I'm going to show off that whole area here once I get my network started, because how this works later is really cool. Like, you actually can network your teleporters in uh, Ruins of Wizardry by making a teleportation rune, uh, activating it, and whatever block it's sitting on will network to a the nearest rune in that same dimension with that same block that it's sitting on. So if I were to, oh, say, mm. make the ground nothing but uh, polished andesite, and I put that into, like, oh, say, over here and also at, like, a uh, mountain uh, biome, li like a nice extreme hill, then I could use that as my sign of the mountains, that I'm going to the mountains that way. So I can make myself this really cool runic network, and that's something I'm definitely going to be going for. But first, of course, I have to start off with the mod. Okay, uh, I'm going to need to scan everything, so a brick. Uh, okay, I'm going to want to craft myself some other stuff, so a brick block, because why not bricks? Flower pots, because I, I will probably want to uh, have some nice decor around here eventually, you know? It can't always just be functional. Okay, do 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 do, so that's learned. Just making sure, because I'm pretty sure that I had that other thing there. Okay, so brick. I just need a brick. Then I need to mortar it, I think, if I remember right. Whoa, I get a lot of chalk dust. No wonder it's valued so so low, is because even though it starts off with some decent stuff, it gets a lot of it. And the thing about Project E is it's all about math. So, so it goes by division, multiplication, and all that to figure out the actual values of things. And I really need to remember to get that later. Okay. Uh, pl I got plant. I have aqua, chalk. Wait. There's like two different types-ish. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to make the block form. So I need to get a plant ball. Small plant ball. What can oh, I just grind up any plant. <laughs> oh, that's convenient. Can I do seeds? No, it has to be like something that counts like leaves or a sapling or something. Interesting. Okay, so let's grind up a sapling. And that's the Darklands oak sapling I was talking about before. Uh, but I'll just grind a regular oak. Okay, grinding it. I love how this is never used up. It's total catalyst. It's a total catalyst. <laughs> it's just there. Okay, so. Let's see here. More plant balls, please. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because I need to have this as a full thing to get this larger ball here. Do, 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 do. So there's a couple types of plant runic dust. And let me see. This makes the full plant infused dust block, right? Or something similar to it. Yeah, and I need to, f I need to fuse that into, like, dust. So. Okay, so that's another recipe that I can ma have it charged up with. There we go. Uh, what do I have left? Let me see. I did that because that was on the level of the block. That was two. I did that. I did that one. I did Ender, I believe. Right? Yeah, I did Ender. Uh, plant dust here will be different. You don't actually need most of them as blocks, it's mostly for storage. Uh, did that, but the ones that I do will all have to get done later. So I may need to do stuff again. Okay, so I got that. I just need flame later on. So let me see here. A dust broom would be nice. This is actually very convenient. So stick and wheat. Uh, this is one of the cheapest tools you'll, you'll see for quite some time. Stick. Let's see, wheat. Nice, nice. I don't need these right now, so I'll throw that in there. It'll be like later. The reason why you may need a dust broom is it helps you clear out. Does this have to be in the full crafting table? Because it, it, it told me I could use this to make a dust broom. Uh, wait, what was that up there I just saw? Gluttony charm. Hmm. I may have to look into that, because I don't remember that one in Dark Utilities. I know that there's a lot of cool stuff in it. A ba Oh, yeah, my, my, I've got to start mine colonies and some other stuff, too. It says it's a it's the same. I guess it just has to be done in a regular crafting table, or maybe it has to be done diagonally? 
No, it has to be done in the regular craft table, exactly as is. Okay, there are a few that are that picky. So, go figure. Yep, it's fine here, but not there. Huh. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm going to need a broom at some point. Okay, now let me see here. Uh, the lava stone bricks. Take lava stone. Oh yeah, that's that whole blazing netherrack thing I need to do at some point, so... Is there another way I can get netherrack? I do not have nether essence right now. I can't duplicate it with that way. If I had netherrack, that would be where I'd... I can use transmutation if I have another brick. Hmm... I can do... No, nah, I'm not that far in lightning craft yet. <laughs> uh, chiseling it would be nice, but no. Uh... Oh, wait, am I set at Promise of Tenacity 2? Because if I am, I could make it right now. Which Promise am I at? Because I have been kind of doing some evil craft stuff somewhat off-screen, because I've done it before in Solitary Craft, and I, I really like the mod, so I was... It is a 2! Sweet! Uh, that means I can do it! Nice! I, I did not expect myself to have that at that time, because I totally forgot. Which level I was on. I had been wanting to promote it, I just didn't know if I'd promoted it to that already. I just, uh... I, that, that was just me forgetting that I'd already done it, so... Yeah. It's been a while, I've been having some... Uh, be, well, you know what I'm logged about. <laughs> okay, this'll take care of some of my, uh... Oh, yeah. Been a while since I did this. It has been too long. Especially when I do love this mod. Uh, I mean... There's very few really dark mods that I really clicked with, but this kind of got me into it. So, yeah, evil craft power. Power of blood and souls to do all sorts of crazy things. And in an interesting way, a lot of it's mostly lag-free. <laughs> yeah, some fancy stuff about it, so... It's one of those things that's interesting to get into. There we go. All that for an equal EMC of one. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, at least it maintains its value. Cobblestone, netherrack, one. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, now I will have nethery stuff to work with. Okay, so let me see. Can I do that both ways? Because this is... No, I have to do it this way. Okay, so I need to make a lava stone. That uh, was the blazing netherrack paste. So I need netherrack and this. need to grind that up. Grindy, grindy. Okay. Uh, can I use this for anything else? No, it literally just makes lava stone. <laughs> well, that's... Well, I don't know. Some of these... It might count as a rune that I can use later, so I'll, I'll go ahead and memorize that pattern. Okay, now I'm gonna need a little bit of fuel, so I'll take myself a... Wait a moment. I almost forgot. Something I almost forgot to check. Now I just remembered the coolness of it. Cold nuggets. Now I need to try this with just one so I can turn the rest in. Because this is something I want to see if it works. Because there's some mods that have something called Tiny Coal. And it literally gives you exactly one smelt. Which makes sense because a coal is eight. So if it turns into eight of these, it gives you one smelt each. So let's see, can I get exactly one out of this? Well, this may not be the best furnace to test with, because uh, the, Infer the Inferium furnace is a little bit more efficient. But it seems about accurate. I got, exact I got a smelt out of it. So, there we go. And it being quicker, that means it happened a little bit faster. So, yay. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, so lava stone is necessary. What else do I need to make this block? Just that and the dust block. Okay, so I, 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 I do need to pull one back. Dust block. So I will soon have all the dust that I need in one level or another. Even if I have to, like, do things with them later. Like this one I can now first craft into that type of dust. Okay, so let me see if there's any others I need to uncraft, so to speak, or kind of unstore, I guess you could say. Plant infused dust block. Flame infused. Water infused. 
Okay, so these are ones... Let me see, I don't have... Okay. Those are different dusts. Okay, okay, so I need to undo each of these into nine, because it was on the level of the block, as I keep saying. <laughs> and for a good reason. It, it's interesting that it's doing on the level of the block, and then you uh, convert it out of its storage form. But if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. There we go. Some dust. Now, where's that bag and some other things? Arcane dye. I just need one chalk dust and some any any dye. Okay, this is something that's kind of useful later. So, that's the only one I have memorized right now that has the actual word dye in it. Okay, whatever. Uh, should have made some light gray dye. <laughs> oh well, retrospect, you know. Okay, chalk. Okay, and my meal is going out again. I'm going to have to have a nibble. Because you probably should realize by now that I... I'm one of those people that does not want my hunger to go too far down because I like to be in regeneration mode er, and enhanced <laughs> as, as much as possible. So, yeah. This thing's actually interesting. I might just put this down somewhere around here. This corner could use a bit of color. You see, you actually color certain things with it. Like, you can actually recolor some of these, uh, uh, these dusts and chalks if you want to. Uh, it doesn't change what they do, but it makes it really nice. Okay, let me see here. I do need a runic dictionary. Uh, oh, it had me... Exit out. Thank you. <laughs> it was... it had me a little stuck in there. This is like my favorite meal around here because it's, uh... You know, I might want to cook myself a little egg just to make it cooked. I'll do that a little later just in case there's a problem because some things may have a conflict, but I'll prep that in advance. That was weird doing a big meal, but hey, tons of saturation in one shot for cheap. <laughs> okay, now let me see here. Uh, I was going to... That... is that even... Okay, that that's not a thing that you can do in survival. Okay, I need... So we'll, oh, I need a runic staff, okay. Which I probably mean I should have my runic dictionary. Okay, runic dictionary, I need to sacrifice an enchanted book and have a runic staff. Okay, it's all relying on the runic staff. <laughs> Again, I, I know more what I need later than earlier. So this is a little exploratory, but this is fast exploratory. I need three gold nuggets of stick and glass. Okay. Uh, more nuggets. Okay, a steak. I don't know if anybody here knows that reference, but they might. I mean, the guy is a pretty funny guy. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean seriously, uh, he, he is just hilarious. But at the same time, I'm trying to figure out if his comedy level would be appropriate for all ages or not. I I've watched a lot of the stuff that kind of isn't, and some of it, it kind of is, so a bit mixed. So that's why I'm not entirely thinking of whether or not they would to say his name. Okay, now let's see. Is there one of these enchanted books that I can just sacrifice? Uh, some of these are pretty pure, and I'll want them later. That's a nice one. Efficiency 1. I, sh I, I gotta admit, I'm not entirely sure that's going to be entirely necessary with something like this. <laughs> I mean, I can... I mean, I have Tinker's Construct. But at the same time, there's some that I imagine I might need that on later, but I'll need a multiple... I'll, I'll probably get another one with efficiency later. that will be better. I, and I can extract it from it. Well, let me just see. Do I have anything with efficiency on it in my tools that I got from, from Infernals while I could? Okay, that has efficiency too. I, I, I can use Evilcraft to extract that enchantment from it, so I don't need this one. I can just sacrifice it. Uh, now, can I do this in quick crafting? Please, let me do this in quick crafting, just cause. Aha! That was nice. Thank you. It oh. Appar I, apparently that also acts as a catalyst, so... Yeah, I didn't need to worry about it. I, for I forgot I left it in my little quick crafting window. Okay, that was interesting. Now, dust pouch. I need that three wool and a string.
I'm getting pretty close on inventory space, but I should be done soon. Like, I will literally have all the beginning stuff I think I need in the next few moments, hopefully. Okay, uh, string. Of course, my staff is also very important, because I use this in a lot of stuff. Okay, that is... There's a couple things in this sort of catalytic crafting. You have your staff and your mortar and pestle. Nice to know. Okay, dust pouches are special. You can't use them directly unless you have them loaded with dust. So whenever I make dust, I can load it with it. And you can get a tremendous... Darn lips. You can get a tremendous amount of dust in a single pouch, as long as it's of one type. So each of these dusts... I can load one with and turbocharge it to a great point, and it will just be able to hold all of it, like humongous amounts of dust. It'll be very important for whenever I'm actually making my runic networks later. Okay, uh, is there anything else? Lava stone bricks. Can I actually use these for anything other than... Oh, wow! Goodness sakes! So many abil- I, I, I want that. I mean, I know block armor is automatically compatible with a lot of mods, but this is ridiculously good. Immovable? Okay, let me see what all this is. Uh, produces a light level of 10, so not as good as some. Immove 25% knockback resistance. And a, a lesser version, but nice. Ignites enemies after attacking or being attacked. Sweet. Uh, fire protection 4 when full up. Health boost, boost by 2 hearts. Not the best armor value compared with what I've got on right now. But then again, sometimes the effects are worth it just as much, and that one looks ridiculously good. You know, I'm going to make all that armor before I, before I head off. <laughs> okay, so... Lava stone. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, okay, okay. Because I want to have lava stone bricks. And lots of them. Because this is going to make me a lot of really cool armor. At least, an interesting set. So I got that memorized for later. I'm getting pretty full and should be pretty close to the end of things temporarily, so... I'm gonna go ahead and let that go for now and make the armor later. Oh yeah, I did need to uncraft this, didn't I? I knew there was something I was forgetting. Maybe I just had that extra. Oh well. Anyhow, th that means that I should be able to have a pretty loaded effect armor with that. I mean, goodness sakes. I mean, seriously, how many abilities did that have? One, two, three, four, five. That might be some of the most I've seen in block armor so far. Goodness sakes. That's, that's a lot of abilities. Okay, I'm going to cook an egg as one of the last things that I do, because I'm not entirely sure if this is going to conflict with anything. Whew, that was nice to know. The uh, reason why I did that is because uh, I wasn't entirely sure if there was another mod that added it, because i got a lot of mods in here. And it's nice to have a fried egg, because I have a fried egg. <laughs> so I have some extra food from Abyssal Craft. Is this one of those things that I can eat while I'm full? Because... No. That would have been nice if I could just pack it on. <laughs> but apparently the answer is no. Okay. I try to remember what all did I have in here because oh not much I could have something like this or maybe something else is a traveling uh, is a traveling gear thing I could I could kind of do that can I can I dye these like can I uh I don't think I can dye this because normally when you can dye something it'll show that in the recipes that you can dye it and hmm. It doesn't. Also, it also doesn't have that thing that says the exact color it has on it. So maybe I need to see if my if the backpacks are okay. Because they rebalanced the backpack uh, uh, mod so that now they're a little more complicated. So just a quick preview. You need special frames to make them now. So uh, for example, just making the regular small backpacks or the or the regular size ones take these iron frames. And they take like string and iron sticks, and iron sticks are Iron ingots, so it's a bit more complicated than it used to be. Now, for bigger backpacks, like this one, you'd need to have bigger frames, which include uh, 
uh, these. And the tier, I think, affects how big of a backpack you'll be able to get. Because, it, it, yeah, it's, it's saying that the tier matters, so I think for the biggest ones you need some pretty good tiers. No, no, it's, it's saying that that is the tier for all of them. Okay. So, I, I, so it's just like you get, uh, you get small ones, you get middle ones, and you get, lar and you get big ones now. Okay, so now there's three tiers of backpacks in the backpack mod, but they made the crafting more complicated. Let me see. I might go for iron backpacks instead, but... I just really like coloring them. Uh, that way I can color code them to what I'm actually having in them. So, maybe when I start getting something for traveling gear, including, like, maybe one dedicated to magic, like doing my runic stuff later, I'll be able to have one that's ready. And I need to check whether or not it's night. <laughs> the cows can't go through. Uh, well, buffaloes now. They're no longer cows. I have made them better. They're buffaloes. Yes, buffaloes. Y y you know me. You know me. I I am the one who made you actual buffaloes. <laughs> okay. In that case, I am heading down for a while. Because I have done a lot of stuff and need to head in for various reasons. So, okay. Whew. Okay. So... This is Glitch Reaper, and I've, I've got a lot done today in preparation for doing stuff with uh, runes of wizardry. And I'll get into doing actual uh, runic rituals. Darn lips, and that's something hard to say anyhow. Uh, but yeah, I'll get into some actual uh, rune usage later. And uh, make myself a teleportation network to places I go in the future. That, that way, no matter how far I go off to some of these different places I need to explore, I'll be able to come back here and network them or at least go to a hub, like maybe have a central point uh, hidden around here somewhere so that enemies can't get to it and I can teleport to anywhere else. So I might dig out a nice room for that later. But for now, I've at least got my basics ready for runes of wizardry because I need a lot of dust, and I got it all out of dust, so I'm good. Okay, anyhow, this has been Glitch Reaper, and I'll be signing off. Hope to hear from you all later. So bye for now, everybody.